Hey there! Welcome back to our channel where we keep you up to date on the latest news and events around the world. In this video, we're going to talk about something that affects all of us, global crises like climate change and pandemic preparedness. We'll dive into the latest developments on the World Bank and other development lenders, and how they're working to tackle these issues. Recently, Janet Yellen, the U.S. Treasury Secretary, hosted a roundtable discussion to talk about how the multilateral development banks can better meet current challenges. Finance ministers from major shareholders and borrowing countries joined in the discussion to share their ideas on the matter. The World Bank has proposed a set of changes that would allow them to lend an additional $50 billion over 10 years, while still maintaining their top-tier credit rating. These changes are expected to be approved by the bank's shareholders this week. According to U.S. Treasury Undersecretary Jay Shambaugh, the proposed changes represent a once-in-a-generation transition of these institutions. These changes are just the beginning and more are expected to come. Shamba added that the goal is to fix the bank's operational structure and incentives, and ensure effective use of funds. The development banks have a considerable amount of room on their balance sheets, so there's a lot of potential for growth. Yellen hopes to lay out another roadmap to make more progress on the bank's operational models and financial capacity. The idea is to harness more private capital and create public-private partnerships to tackle climate change, pandemic preparedness, and economic fragility. To sum it up, the World Bank and other development lenders are evolving to address global crises like climate change and pandemic preparedness. The proposed changes are a big step towards progress, with more expected to come. The goal is to harness private capital and create partnerships to tackle these issues. What do you think about these proposed changes? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates like this.